Alright, so looking through Cloud Swords, um, this one is the Yoshi Yuki, however you would pronounce that, but I think Sephiroth Sword will look much, would just look much better. So I'm going to put that in. Um, chart I threw together, I put Mike's Mass Immune on here. It's set to use Texture ID 3, and it's set for us first weapon, so I have it in the same row as the Buster Sword. <coughs> but we have to change the Texture ID to an available one. And we're using 5 for Slayer's Buster Sword. We're using 6 for my Dragon Buster. So 7 is the next available one, because these two weapons are... Instead of using Slayers, we're using Millennia's. So to change that, um, to start changing it, we're going to go in the bid turn. Um, we're going to go to the folder where Mike's Sephiroth weapons are, well, Sephiroth model in general. Um, so it's the folder where you have everything at, Mike's, Trish, a.k.a. Mike's custom models, um, battle, non-effect, Sephiroth, and click that and it gets you here. So, S-A-C-K, that is the, that's the model for Mike's Sephiroth sword, Mike's Masamune. Gonna convert that to S-A-C-K.3DS. So, convert, then it's texture ID 3, which is AF, um, bit turn can't load it, so we're going to do the same way, same thing we did for my Dragon Buster, so going to go into here, copy, paste, going to call this one dot text. We now have a text file. Um, open image to text. Mass convert real quick. Go to the go to where we have that text file saved. We're looking for a text. Open process successfully. back to that folder where everything's at. Alright, so we have a bitmap P Creator can use, a text file Chimera can use, and we have a 3DS that P Creator can use. Alright, so we're going to open P Creator. We're going to go into where we have that 3DS file of Sephiroth Sword. Going to open it. Alright, you can see it there. It's huge. You're going to right click, go up. Alright, you see it. You can see it. Alright, so you're going to select it. Then, battle model, UV coordinates. Flip on the Y axis. Open bitmap. We're going to open saaf.bmp. Um, as you can see, it's on there. Edit. Texture ID. Texture ID number 7. OK. Looks all nice and pretty. Alright, file, save as. We're going to save this in that new setup folder we have. And it's going to replace the Yoshiyuki, so it's going to be called RTCV. So, RTCV. Save, overwrite. Exit out of P Creator. Go back to Chimera. Alright, we're gonna reopen we're gonna reopen that so it refreshes. Uh, 
we're going to come down here to there. All right, Seth Ross Mass Immune, um, growing trend. It's 10 times bigger than it should be. Everything defaults to 100. Um, that one's really 100, so I'm going to cut it to 10% of its size. There you go. It's at the right size. Apply changes. And you can see it's curving. It's curving down, so it's backwards. And look, it has to be spun on the Z axis. 180 degrees. Apply changes. Uh, that's better. Now we're going to add a texture. Looking for a text file. We're going to go into that folder where we have it saved, which is the same folder as Sephiroth stuff. SAAF.txt. Open. And there we have it. Now save it. Saving into that new folder, RTAA. Overwrite. And now you have Sephiroth Mass Immune to use as cloud.